everybody, it's me, Miss You, and now we're going to be doing um, one point, the last part of 1.3.4, which is to model the precision screwdriver set. We do not have a copy of it, so we're going to be estimating some of the distances. So starting with figure 10, you're going to be able to see a ruler there, and we're going to uh, go to the top view, and we're going to draw a pentagon. I'm going to design it the way, or I'm going to recreate it the way um, it looks. So we're going to start at the bottom and we're going to go up. So we're going to go sketch. And uh, now I'm going to go to the pentagon and I'm going to create a uh, pentagon from the center. Just click once and then go in, then click twice and you have a pentagon. Um, now I'm going to dimension the sketch. If you look at figure 10, you see two inches, but it's a little smaller and I'm going to be using, estimating for 1.75. So I'm going to estimate 1.75 because it's a little less than two inches. Um, based on, it's not really starting at zero. Okay. And there it is, 1.75. So let's look at the top view and we see it's not constrained and that's because it's floating in space. So what we wanna do is we wanna give it a horizontal constraint and that should uh, constrain everything. There we go, it is fully constrained. The next step that we're gonna do is we are going to do a tapered extrude. So let's look at it isometrically. We're on number 16. Um, and 16 asks for a tapered extrude. So I'm going to do a regular extrude and then I'm going to taper it. So I'm going to end the sketch. I'm going to highlight or select. I'm going to go extrude. I'm going to, the depth that I'm interested in is very little. I'm going to give it a 0.25. Okay, and that might even be too much because that's the, we're just doing the lip right now. And uh, then you're gonna go to draft, okay? And instead of three degrees, it asks us to do 45 degrees. I'm doing 45 degrees and I'm gonna go enter and you can see it's going in the wrong direction. So I'm gonna now reverse the direction and that is a 45 degree draft and my first extrude is done. Now I'm gonna do a second extrude and that second extrude, um, because it's injection molded, it tapers and the minimum taper is 2%. So we're just gonna do 3% and that's, um, I think when I do the draft, it shows up at 3%. So I'm selecting the top of my first extrude. I'm gonna go extrude again. And this time I'm gonna go 0.75. Okay. And again, these are just estimates. So if yours is a little different, that's okay. And I'm actually going to go back to my extrude and I'm going to go into draft and I want to change the direction and it's uh, now set. Okay. The next step that we're going to do, uh, it ends up at a circle, but you need to transition from the pentagon to the circle. And that's done with a loft feature. Um, so it allows for a smooth transition. In order to do this loft feature, you need to also do an offset. Um, so let's go, let's, it's called an offset surface over here. And it basically creates a piece of paper or a plane in the middle of the air that allows us to draw. So I'm gonna do an offset surface. And, oh, I have to select what I want it offset from. And it says 0.15, but just so we could visualize it, that is the right distance. But I'm just going to do one so we could really see what's going on here. And you have to imagine this pentagon is going on forever. So once we have the surface, I'm going to go check. I'm now going to go to top view. I'm going to create a circle on my offset surface. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to go sketch. I'm going to go center circle because I'm going to align it up with the center. And 
and I'm drawing it over here. And now I'm going to dimension it. And I we want it really right up to the edge. And I think that's about 1.1 because I, I actually tried it earlier. And that really leads us right to the edge. Okay. And my sketch is done. It is fully constrained. And I went check. And now I'm going to just look at the isometric view. So it's a little hard to see the circle. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to, um, I'm going to zoom in. That's the first thing. Um, we're going to select the loft. We're going to select the loft feature. And it shows start and end and profile. So we're going to do the start is the pentagon. And the end is the circle. And we just managed to build it up, but I, it's a little confusing because we see the pentagon there too. So I'm going to go to the circle where it says surface, and I'm going to select the eye, and I'm going to go check. Now, as we discussed, so this is a nice smooth transition from a pentagon to a circle, but I did it very big so you could see it well. So now I'm going to go to the offset surface and I'm going to change it from 1 to 0.15. Okay. And so now it looks more like the drawing. And uh, from here, we're going to create our um, uh, round extrusion. Okay. And so I think at this point we are on, um, we're constructing a plane from the top. We created the loft and we're going to do a round surface again. And this time I'm going to do um, just a regular extrude. And it's, I think it's about half an inch, 0.5. And when I do it about half an inch, um, we also have to do a draft because again, you cannot have fully straight surfaces with the injection molding. I'm gonna change the direction and I'm gonna go check, okay? So now it's starting to look like the holder. I'm going to, uh, it says at, a, at 18, it says add a small round top to the edge. So we know that is going to be a fillet. So I'm going to select it. Whoops. There, I selected. No, I don't want that. I just want the edge. Okay. So I'm going to go check the fillet. And I'm just going to select the edges one at a time. Okay, great. And instead of being 0 0.1, 0 0.3, I'm going to try it 0.1 and see if that's, yeah, that looks more like it. I could probably even do smaller. So I'm going to try 0 0.05. And it's just a tiny edge at the surface, and that looks about right. The next thing we're going to do is our uh, shell feature and of course that's to reduce the weight and production costs although um, the mold for injection molding is probably more expensive and um, and we're going to create some holes at the top okay oh we do those later so let's I'm going to turn it around so it says, use this shell feature to hollow out the base of your part. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me turn it around. I'm going to go to my bottom view. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to go to... shell 
and I have a shell thickness of 0.1 and I think that works out. Okay, I'm gonna go check. And now I'm gonna look at it isometrically. So that's the bottom. And well, oh, next step it says delete this sh shell feature. So I'm gonna go delete it. I'm gonna go here. It actually says it. First it says make it and then it says delete it. I'm gonna go delete. It's gone. But what we do want to do is we want to add a short lip at the bottom. So we are going to um, I'm going to look at I'm going to look at the bottom again, and this time I'm going to do a tiny lip. At a short tapered extrusion, of course, we're tapering it um, because it's an injected molded part. So I'm going to do extrusion and I'm going to do 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and it's going to go draft. And then it's three degrees. Let me make sure what it looks like to see if that's the right direction. It does look like the right direction. Let me double check this. I'm going to have to just zoom in. 